After the announcement on the operationalization of the NSSF Act amendments of 2021, the public has rushed to the National Social Security Fund to apply for part of their savings by utilizing the clause which allows meter access. We have many people, workers who are stranded, like who have been in Kororo. People slept in Kororo and there was nobody to attend them. Mm -hmm. So this is our money, we saved it. The fund management is overwhelmed by the huge population applying for their savings and is planning special arrangements in open places. Our uh, uptake of uh, payments is about 20, 200 payments per day. Uh, already today, we know that uh, even just here at head office, we've had over 300 people coming into our premises. So we think that um, we will be able to take in at least as many as um, double the amount we would normally have taken in. That's about 800 said today uh, because it's the first day. And hopefully those numbers should then uh, uh, peter off as we go, as we go forward. Those with unmatching personal details are advised to rectify before applying. To be able to qualify, you will need your NSSF number given. We will need a passport photo given. We will need a valid bank account. Number three, you will need a phone number. And number four, you will need a national identity card. The total number of eligible members for 20% access is 41,174. And the fund is expecting to spend 50 billion Uganda shillings every week in paying these members. This will affect the fund's investment strategy, especially in the capital market. We've been investing in short-term instruments. And the reason is simple. Because we did not know when the law will be passed. We did not know when the president would pass it. But we knew that as soon as he passed it, people will be on our door. We this lump sum of money outflow from the fund will directly impact on the annual interests of the serving members. Our target was to receive 1.5 trillion shillings this financial year. It looks like we will only achieve 1.3 trillion, 1.4 trillion, so we'll be short by about 100 billion. Despite the midterm access provided for in the new NSSF amendment, the law also enlarged the scope of the fund operations. We will be able to raise an additional 90 billion shillings uh, due to the expansion of our mandate uh, because now our mandate includes employees who work for entities that are employing less than five individuals. The fund is expecting to release at least 1.8 trillion Uganda shillings in payment to the 57% eligible beneficiaries in the meter access window and the average payment is 19 million Uganda shillings. Open places like Kololo Airstrip have been organized to cater for huge numbers of applying members and the first payment will be made on the 17th of March, 2022. Charlotte Amuge and Abdul Nasir Luwama for UBC News.